Football from Yard, the People's Channel. Greetings football from Yard Massive. The Reggae Youths accomplished their first goal of the CONCACAF Under-20 tournament, qualifying for the knockout stage via a 2-0 win over Antigua and Barbuda. Jamaica got on the score sheet through a first-half effort from Zion Scarlett and a second-half penalty from Jamari Clark. With Jamaica needing only one point to secure qualification for the next round, coach Marcel Gale added more players to the midfield, transitioning from a 4-3-3 formation to a 3-5-2. Tarek Zimenez, Kobe Thomas, Devonta Campbell and Tyler Roberts were removed from the starting lineup from the previous encounter and left back Lamont Rochester was unavailable due to a red card suspension. Kanaya Boyce Clark was in goal and captained the team on the night. Romain Blake, Luke Badley Morgan and Jaden Anderson marshaled the three-man defensive line. The Canadian base Anderson received his first start of the tournament. Louis Watson and Chad James also received their first starts on the left and right wings respectively. James had looked very dangerous in his two previous substitute outings. In the midfield, efficient player Alexander Bicknell was added to the mix, joining Duncan McKenzie and Christopher Pearson. The duo of Jamari Clark and Zion Scarlett led the forward line. Jamaica had the better of the first half, but was unable to convert the majority of its build-up play due to either poor touches by the forwards or bad passing by the attacking midfield. Jamaica was, though, able to execute properly on one occasion, with Zion Scarlett finishing the play with a composed finish. The injury bug, which has been hitting most of the teams at this tournament, attacked Jamaica once again. Left-sided player Louis Watson had to be replaced in the first half by Jamon Barkley. At halftime, coach Marcel Gale replaced Zion Scarlett, who seemed to be hobbling at the end of the first half, with Devante Campbell. He also replaced attacking midfielder Duncan McKenzie with Kobe Thomas. Later in the second half, Tyler Roberts and Kamali Powell also made appearances. The team did create some danger in the second half, but the execution is still work in progress. Devonte Campbell and Christopher Pearson both had good efforts stopped by the Antiguan keeper. The goalkeeper, however, was unable to stop Jamari Clark's penalty, which was as a result of a foul on substitute Tyler Roberts. While the performance wasn't a great one, coach Marcel Gale did make a number of adjustments that seemed to improve the team. The first change was a switch from the 4-3-3 to the 3-5-2. Secondly, the addition of Xander Bicknell to the defensive midfield position provided a more secure shield in front of the defence and quicker passing from deep areas of the midfield. Both the starters and the substitutes are still work in progress with regards to connecting in the final third, and the defenders also need to reduce individual errors. That tends to be the major source of pressure for the team. With the win, Jamaica ends the group stage on four points, securing the third place in the group and qualification to the knockout round. As the third place finisher in the group, Jamaica will face second place finisher in a group comprising of Mexico, Haiti, Trinidad and Tobago, and Suriname. Haiti faces Mexico in their final group stage game on June 23rd, while Trinidad and Tobago faces Suriname. The highest Suriname can finish in the group is third, so it will be one of the other three teams, most likely Haiti or Trinidad and Tobago, that Jamaica will face. Coach Marcel Gale seemed to make the right choices in this particular game, and will need to do the same in the next match, regardless of the name or perceived pedigree of any player. Respect once again for joining, linkage next time.